I played three games today, but you only saw two games from the la from from today on that list. There's a game missing. The game missing was a win. Some people picked up Zach Top with Conqueror. You must have. Well, the thing is, literally, look, in the last year, I have seen one Zach Top that wasn't me. One. Just one. I don't know how all these Zach Tops that you guys seem to be running into, but I have only seen one. Well, we're talking about, in general, I play six games a day, five days a week, 30 games. So that makes it 30 games a week. How many weeks in a year? We can take a few weeks off. But altogether, that divide, one divided by that, that's how many games I've seen. Although you would have to, of course, remove the games where I take Zach, because it's not exactly fair. Somebody else might have wanted Zach top and just, I took it from them. But that still would be hundreds of games. Is Alistair Top still viable? I haven't seen one of those in like four years. At least four years. Back from when Zach was OG. How many graves have we seen Top? I think in the last year, maybe one, maybe two. But I know in the last four years I've seen more graves Top lane than Zach, 100%. They weren't me. You see at least one or two a year. They're pretty rare, but you see them. Zach Top, I, until recently, nobody played him, and even now, I'm the only one I see playing. I'm just sad when you want to see Alistair go top again. That was such an obnoxious lane. No, please, no. Because all he did was just headbutt you away and farm. That's it. It was just annoying. And then once he got some items, he actually had some serious fucking burst to him. But yeah, I think the changes they did to Alistair made it really not viable. I'm trying to stay away from that sword. He's missing that. We should get these. Oh, he's missing those too. He might, he'll get that. But he won't get that one. Nope. A gun aimed at your... Crap! It's not on quick cast. And yeah, Urgot owns this lane. Unlike Zach. Yeah, if I had my E on quick cast, that would have been a good trade. Whatever. I'm farming well. He has four CS to my eleven. Not bad. Yeah, what was that? You want to trade? Okay. You're not three yet. You know what that means? You can't block my damage. Now he can. I got a good dash off. Whoa, that was weird. Felt like latency, but my latency is normal. Weird. I got to be careful now. His Shadow Dash has a relatively short cooldown. I just have to fuck. Slowly pushing towards him right now, too. Or is it? Really hard to tell. Zack's nearby. It's the only reason why I'm willing to walk forward. Because I would probably lose a fight right now. If it came to it. Rank 2 in my W is some cooldown. That's an unlikely scenario here. Yeah, I can't move forward when he's playing so far back.
I've still got a healthy CS lead. That's all that matters. I just want to farm. I outscale Shen so hard, it's not funny. As a duelist, I outscale him so hard. And yet, even then, he still gets better access to items than I do. He could build bruiser items if he really wanted to. And Titanic isn't a terrible item on him, either. Titanic's actually fantastic for lane Shen. Gotcha! Oh my god, I missed. I like this. Well, I appreciate the presence there, Zach, but unfortunately I missed my E. I'm very surprised I did. It looked like a perfect opportunity to throw it in. And it would have if it connected. Oh, whatever. I'm at full health. I'm farming. That's all that matters. Yeah, I've got a really healthy lead. I have half a kill in gold, essentially, just from farm. As an advantage. Which means right now I've got about 200 extra gold. I want to shove in the next wave and back. I'm not going to get to shove this in. Didn't get the cannon. But I am six. Not letting him get the sword to go through me. He's not six yet either. Oh, he is. I don't think he wants to leave. He did. Well, I'll get a plate for it. It's okay. Our bot lane got first blood, and I got a plate. So all together, we're now about even in gold, but I'm going to be way ahead in experience. Like, massively far ahead. He's missing multiple waves because of that teleport. He made a huge sacrifice for his team. In fact, I'm getting a full kill off of this. A full kill's worth of gold. Wow. So now, not only is he missing all that experience, but I got a full kill's worth of gold in addition. And the wave's pushing back towards me. He may have just shot himself in the foot. Or the face. We'll see soon. Uh, let's grab this. Let's grab that. We head back to land. Be able to use Sheen with an auto mid headbutt. Yeah. Oh, I remember. That's what made it viable. He would do so much damage in that stupid combo and knock you away at the same time. Yeah, look at that. I'm level 7, he's level 6. He's got a bombies. Okay, so he just hit 7. My advantage right now is the ranged minion right here. That's how much experience I am having. That's it. I'm still not looking to fight him. I love being able to do that. It screws up his combo. If I throw my E when he taunts, and it connects, and I dash away, it doesn't matter. The Q won't go through me, so he gets the inferior version of it. And I'm also in a bad position for him to go. Still have teleport. Okay, the W just ran out. Yeah, I think it's time to shove. My W basically doesn't have a cooldown anymore. And let's take advantage of the fact that now he. Again, as long as he doesn't get the sword to go through me, it doesn't matter. Yeah. We just grab these, and hey, look at that! Back to full health, and full mana! Cool, my pestering and annoyance means that now I've got a tangible advantage. Oh, you 
just killed yourself, buddy. You just killed yourself! I was just waiting for cooldowns. Yeah, killed yourself. Suicide by Urgot. Because I knew I didn't have the damage to kill him with that first connection on my E, but I knew I had the damage with the second one. And the Leeson's nowhere nearby, so I can take two plates. Oh, he didn't use his teleport earlier. Huh. He actually didn't use his teleport. I can stay in lane. I do know the Lee's on the top side jungle. We'll need to keep a close eye on that ward. With no R up. But I am nine. I am devastating at this point. Oh, there goes my ping. Whoa, and it's back to normal. What the hell? What the hell? Come on, walk up. Ah, oh, he missed. Oh, I'm screwed. Retreat! I'm... Damn it. Damn, he has some shocking damage at this point. I'm level 9 and I still lost that. Well, he didn't need to show up. I actually lost. Huh. I guess I'm not strong enough yet. Actually, let's do this. Because that second bit of MR will go into the um, defensive part of this item now that I can build it. And it's startling how much damage he has even at this point. That was basically... Oh. Oh, that's what those fuckers are doing. Ah! Fuck! I can't beat them both. I nearly got them. R wasn't enough. Well, at least our team got the dragon. Damn, that's annoying. I get both of them down to 20% to health. If I had only held my R, I would have killed one of them. And yes, I love how the Shen backed away from the fight to R in. That's awesome. That's certainly how that ability was designed to be used. Shouldn't it have a minimum range? Can only use it on somebody outside of Twisted Fate R range. I'm kidding. That's not how it should work. But that definitely was some funky interaction. Any other Pierces and Ada? And so far today has been an even split of wins and losses, but one thing that has not been even the balance of the uh, good versus bad games. We haven't had a good game yet today. Ow. Huh, that thing didn't even go through me. Okay, that's in two for two. Well, I kept the Shen busy so he couldn't go join them or something, but his R should be still. Taking a lot of damage there. Like I said, Urgot hard outscales him, so... As time goes on, this lane just gets nasty. What the... Ha! Finally, he walked within range. That auto attack range is a little longer than it seems. I would think he'd have to walk within the circle to be able to auto attack, but apparently not. Oh, there is. It's right. enough blind shoving. Let's ward. There's Lee. Oh, 
Only those who survive the city deserve it. So I've got a 30 CS lead, I've got a like three or four plate lead as well. But he does have three kills. So we're probably pretty close to even in gold. But I still think I have a slight experience lead. It turns out it's really difficult to lane against an Urgot that's constantly harassing you. Oh, this shit again. Or maybe he is. Hmm? Wait, what? Huh? Oh, that was his sword. It looked like I fired my R again. Like, wait, I didn't fire my R at him again. Because I can't actually do that. I gotta be careful. He could taunt me under the turret. If he landed that, we could have killed him. I think. It would have been close. Oh, crap. Let's, uh, let's just back away. Let's just leave. I think we've done enough intimidation tactics. Thanks for the, uh, thanks for the assist there. Because he will show this. Damn, not quite. Well, I can sell the death stance. Quite. want to stay, but I'm staying. Just fuck it, it is a cannon wave. And fuck it, I can kill this son of a bitch. My R will be up soon. Once it's up, I can kill him. I know Lee ain't here. Five seconds. Five seconds. Alright, he's within kill range. I know Lee ain't here. All I need to do is land my E. That's it. It's not that hard, right? I swear it's not that hard. And he's dead. And the turret's dead. Oh, I'm sorry, did you think the amount of life left on the turret was enough for you to kill me? No. Afraid not there, friend. Afraid not. He made a valiant effort, but the math wasn't on his side. If that turned out another 100 health, doing that would have worked. But it didn't. I just finished it off and that's it. <laughs> finished it off, then finished him. Easy peasy. And now I am very fed. Fuck, so this is what it's like to have fun playing against Shen. Yeah, I should never bring Zack into Shen ever again. That is not a fun lane. Urgot, no problem. This is great. Was I good at maths in school? In college, excuse me, in high school, yes. In college, no. I managed to do everything up to Calc 1 pretty damn well. Calc 2 just didn't make any sense to me, and Calc 3 made even less. Oh, she got that now. Close. Oh my god, no. I thought she got the kill. Nice. It's okay, we're taking the turret. And I think the Rift Herald. I don't think anybody can stop me now. Damn, I'm not 13 yet. If I were 13, this would go so much faster. Because that's when the... Oh, 
I'm sorry, did you bite off more than you can chew? Oh, you did. Jesus, I am just fighting forever. Oh yeah, death stance for the win. Keep in mind, this is per this is reduced mitigation now because I'm ranged. But the healing, the healing. That's all that matters to me. I just didn't die. Shut down. Not quite enough. Nice, but a rifter will go down in the mid lane and that'll take that turret for sure. Their team comes out way behind. I'm surprised that worked out in our favor. Can easily take this. Pull it out though. Just pull it out. Or do that. I guess we can just kill it real quick. I am 13 now. It will go down really fast. All the Yeah, I've got teleport ready. The mid laner should go somewhere else. Or excuse me, the AD carry should go somewhere else. I'm not going to split bot lane. Somebody should go cover top. I can handle basically anybody. I'm way too big for them to deal with. Ghost would be really nice to have. I'll have Righteous Glory on my next bag. But... I'm just going to add twins. Not here. I have enough for glory, I'm just gonna go get it. Righteous glory will allow me the ability to potentially run down and kill Ezreal. I think that's a worthwhile endeavor. There's no boards in the area. But it looks like they're not gonna beat me. Let's not waste teleport if I'm not needed. Righteous Glory and Ghost if I can kill this Ezreal. He makes a single mistake. Yeah. Just letting him know. Teleport is ready and I am keeping an eye on the minimap. I was gonna drop. I bet I could take them both on. I am really strong. And they're 0 and 6, so. Jesus, that thing makes really... Oh, that's what it was! It's a fucking Shen'ar. Oh! I almost got an assist on that. I was wondering, like, wow, where did that massive shield come from? I thought it was this. I thought it was this item that gave him the massive shield. No, it was Shen. Ah, duh. <laughs> Fuck. I, I thought to myself, free food. No, Shen said no. I think he was frustrated. I understand that frustration. This top lane has not been forgiving for him. Although somehow he's five and three. That is very confusing to me. Why is no one doing Baron? A fine question. A fine one. The team was in position to do something. And they did. They got kills. I mean, it ended up being two for one, so that's fine. I mean... At the end of the day, that's as good as them. No, Baron's better. But it was not too far. And Baron would have been riskier, because at this point in the game, it would take a while. For the four of them to do it, it would take at least a solid minute. Maybe not a minute, but it would take a while. Uh -oh. His teleport's not going to work out. 
Well then, thankfully she ran them away. I would have died with her if she didn't do that. A little more. There it is! Oh, I actually got it off on him. Yeah, I do a lot of damage here, fellas. I don't do that much. Woo, run, run, run! Nice! We did get another kill, and the Zack will... cleanly get away. He did have his passive, too. So, he... that was nice. That was really nice. <laughs> Managed to pull that shit out of nowhere. Do I want this now? Magic damage, magic damage, magic damage. Quite a bit of magic damage here, too. Yeah, you know what? Let's get Spear Visage now. Hmm. And then I think I'll go Cleaver. Against their team, Cleaver will be really nice. Well, against the Shen and the Nautilus. Right now, both of them are kind of tanking my damage quite effectively. Boy, you and Zach have death stance. And then I realized my mistake. A very understandable mistake. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, he got it anyways. Nice. They're going to kill him. I'm not needed. To top lane we go. With Righteous Glory and Ghost up, I can kill you. Ah! Vroom. Oops. Oh, did you think you had a chance? Huh. Weirdo. I got Spirit Visage! Depth's Dance! You're not gonna out-damage my healing. Your, his Q is his only damaging ability. It does a ridiculous amount of damage, but it has a limitation to how many times you can use it. My passive at this point in the game is a one and a half second cool. As I circle you, the new ones come up. I have no downtime on my passive. If you're fighting me and standing on top of me, you're gonna die. I don't care who you are. Yeah, I don't have cleaver. Doesn't matter. The percent max life damage is just egregious at this point in the game. Earlier, 30 second cooldown, obviously not egregious. One and a half second cooldown, yeah, that's going to blow people up. Also, your W's on constantly, so it's, it's a huge difference in power. Oh no, I screwed up my armor. He still dies. I should have turned off my W from the beginning. That was just dumb. And he's dead. Sorry, Nautilus, you're frontline only as long as we allow you to be. It's not gonna work. He actually landed it, wow. Wow, and he's dead. That did work. Shocking. Oh, I am very surprised that worked out. Yeah, you know, I'm with you. We can do it. He's right. It's free now. Two of them are dead. He can he, he could just fight it forever and never lose life. I can too at this point. I'd rather the Zack tank it, obviously. He heals better than I. I fired it blind to scare him off. Oh, my E-timing! Oh, 
You ain't getting away. I think. I ain't getting away. Yeah, he ain't getting away from this. That misfortune's angry, you can tell if I want this. Look at the speed on her. What the hell? Did she use heal there? No. She... Ah, flash. Ah, she's running Nimbus Club. How refreshing. I'm like, that's a lot of movement speed from a flash. It, I thought she had you moves. No, she has Nimbus Club. Has mine killing this turret, please? Thank you. And I was talking to Urgot. He's firing at the minions that were right next to him, which I understand. Urgot is a hungry fella. He likes to. Well, it's another one-sider. Okay, let's see. Yeah, mm, nah. Mm. There's no point in me getting any other item. Oh, I was hoping they'd go for this. I've got teleport ready. Get him! Kill him! Stop him, he's supposed to die. Oh no, come on! We gotta be able to kill one fucking ninja! Ah, uh, he teleported out. Boo! Boo! Coward! Game's over. It's been over for a while. <laughs> Oversized crab devour sneaking into a hole. Now on Pornhub. Yeah, I'm still remembering that beautiful uh, Urgot versus uh, Jax 1v1 that we saw. The Jax used Counter Strike. The Urgot, very well done, uses his E to then knock the Jax on his ass. That's how you're supposed to. Yeah, no reason to leave. I'm a hungry crab. I will eat. I will eat. And sorry, you guys. I'm not sharing. This is my meal. I am not sharing. <laughs> wow, he is so thoroughly outclassed by me at this point in the game. When I say Urgot outscales Shen, I... I mean, keep in mind, he has seven kills. It's not like he isn't fed or anything. I am just that much stronger. That was greedy and stupid. That was greedy and stupid. I was really hoping it would be enough just to get the slow on him to be able to kill him, but that, that was wishful thinking. If he didn't have two friends there, maybe. Even then, I think it would have been tough. I wouldn't have died if he didn't have two friends there, but I don't think I would have gotten the kill either. That was just, that was a poor call. I should not have done that. But at least my team killed someone, so whatever. Their team got the, uh, Shut down, so I'm not worth that much money anymore. That's a, another bonus. They kill me, it won't be so bad next time. Right? That's that's the logic I have to go with here. Okay. Um let's let's go big or go home. I feel like getting one of these. I have teleport, but it does not look like I'm here. I'm here. Yeah, you're right. Got you. No! That fucking Nautilus! Ah! 
He did that to spite me. I can feel it. Like he walked in front of that thing just for that little extra. I know we're losing, but fuck you moments. I could tell. Damn. Ah, uh, is that supposed to hurt? I feel like that's supposed to do damn. Got him! Yeah, your fountain won't save you here. Oh my God, the misfortune god! Your precious fountain can't save you now. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. <laughs> oh, I love being on the right side of the slaughter. So much better than being on the wrong side. Obviously, it's no mu it's it's much worse than being on the right side of a good game. But whatever, I'll take it. Who cares? Um. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, why is this happening? Let me get to the sack. I think I feel like the misfortune did a lot that game. Oh. But I also feel like the Zach did a ton too. Look at him, he's 2 one twenty. That's great kill participation. Fantastic work. He actually had one more kill participation than she did, and only one death. I honored the right person, although the goal the damage graph will say otherwise. What? <laughs> I did the most damage that game? <laughs> okay, I have to express shock on that one. I know I was fed, but I. I didn't think I was that fed. I didn't think I had that much of an opportunity. I feel like at least half of that damage went to the shit. Huh. Huh. And yeah, you can see how one-sided the game was. The two highest damage dealers on our team did nearly double the, da the two highest damage dealers on theirs. And Shen only did so much damage because he was hitting me a lot. I don't think he did much damage elsewhere. Like, it was his Q smacks on me. They were generating the most damage. And then I got Death Stance, and then it didn't matter. At that point, he just didn't do enough. And I also did start with a lot of extra MR to to dampen the blow. I think it helped. I think it was a good idea for me to get Merc Treads and to get Spectre's Cow. I feel like getting all that extra uh, magic is... Ah, yes. That's right. I didn't complete this. Thank you... For reminding me, taskbar. Right. Hmm. Interesting. Yes, as you can see, games today haven't been great. <laughs> Nerf please, right? I mean, he's like 70% machine, so possible. <laughs> yes, Urgot could literally be broken down. You remove the legs, and what is Urgot? Um, an immobile turret with very short range and even more poor mobility. His E only works in melee range at that point. And he can't walk. Somebody needs to actually walk up to him for him to use his E. And most champions have a longer range than Urgot's E grab. Like, seriously, if you're a Q... Your E would not connect if it stopped where Fiora's Q can hit you from. His E turns into the meat grinder. Hmm. Option. I mean, seriously, how weird would it be if Urgot were a champion that couldn't fire unless he turned into turret mode? What kind of... Could a champion functionally work that way? Because we have champions that have abilities like that, but they're always temporary, like uh, uh, Jin and Xerath. Those are two champions that stand still to use a certain ability, 
and then once it's over, they go on their life. Could a champion be completely based around the idea that he can't, he literally can't do anything unless he's immobile? Like maybe he has a, a dash or something, and then he needs to go into turret mode. Like he only has two abilities when not in turret mode, a dash and turret mode. Turret mode then gives him access to the rest of his kit. Could that function? Hey! Dick move. Uh, I got my Urgot runes ready, so I guess it doesn't matter. Fine. Yeah, it makes sense. Like, the W would just turn him in mobile. But that's the thing. If turret mode, like, existed, his range would need to be much longer. So he goes into turret mode. His Q range would um, would double. And anything within Q range can be locked onto for your W. Meaning you could shoot at somebody who's effectively... Twi well, shit, no, that's too much. Maybe give the Q range like another 20% or something. Range. And then uh, his W can fire on anybody that gets locked on. Your R or your Q. Your E, I don't... Like, your E would be an overcharged shield or something. Until you are broken. Or maybe Olaf-style healing. Like, the lower health you get, the more healing you get from damage you do. I don't know. So I, the way it would need to work is his W, um, maybe that's what it is. His W's range increases with every point, sort of like how Zach's E works. And the range is like his base range. So at, range, at rank one, the range on his auto attack is maybe half the range of an 80 carry. On rank two, three quarters. Rank three, 80 carry range. Rank four, oh, like half pass out, etc. Just keep building it out. Your Q is the only way that you can focus. Otherwise, he'll target the closest thing. So his W still works like it does now. He targets the closest thing unless it's locked on. Landing your Q will lock it on. So anything within the range of his W can be shot. But you, at that point, when you land your Q, you're picking your target, essentially. Your E would need to be another way of locking on. That's what it would need to be. tried the yellow boots rune for Urgot? What do you mean yellow boots? You mean free boots the... Um, no. I haven't used the that. I don't use that tree. I, I, For me, I'm too stuck on Transcendence and Nimbus Cloak. Those two runes are just too valuable for my purposes. I can't find myself changing. But damn, suddenly I want to try this champ. That's me in the green tree. Yep. I understand. I absolutely understand. Everybody has their preferences. Nobody, look, whatever works for your playstyle, that's all is what I say. For me, Nimbus Cloak and Ghost, you can't separate. Those two things together turn... Nimbus Cloak turns Ghost into an ability that can be stronger than Flash within one second of use, essentially, to me. Because the extra speed you get from Nimbus Cloak essentially turns Ghost on immediately, where normally you have to wait for it to ramp up. It turns it into a completely different ability. And then, of course, with Teleport and Nimbus Cloak, Teleport now gives you a boost in movement speed. You, 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 you get that plus the Nimbus Club. It's great. Plates with Demolition, the extra HP. That makes sense. Demolition is, like, if you're always shoving in, Demolition just means you're getting an extra 160 gold every time you do, essentially. Maybe not every time, but... It's probably something like you get a turret plate, 
Now you get something like two turret plates for every three times you push it into the turret, probably. I would guess that'd be the right speed. Oh my god, it's a Tom Kench top. Oh my god, it's a Tom Kench top. When was the last time we saw a Tom Kench top link? Can anyone tell me? Oh, this is going to be cool. The last time I did a Zack vs. Tom Kench game was years ago, and I still remember it. Because that was one of the most fun and hilarious experiences ever. I know there's a clip about it. We can actually go back and watch that clip after the game, but... It was just me versus him in an extended 1v1 that lasted forever. And I did win it in the end, but it was hilarious. Just It was a wet noodle fight. We're both just slapping each other. Nothing serious is happening. We're both slowly losing health. But then there reaches a point where my health just stops going down. And his keeps going down. And he doesn't catch on fast enough. By the time he catches on, it's too late. And he's deep fried catfish. We'll see how it works now. I mean, Kench is a different champion. I haven't laned against him since his changes, or at least not in a very long time. I really don't remember them. Like, I know that he can choose to either devour or land the stun, but once he uses that, then it breaks it. Or, like, his passive goes away once he's used one of those two abilities, either to stun or to devour you. I, I, I think. I really don't remember. 